my tips. Welcome to another Tech My Tips video. In today's video, I'm going to address a comment that I received quite a while ago and I forgot to actually upload the video for this. It was just about eight months ago when I was uh, uploading the video on how to set up TDAR in our Synology NAS. And this person mentioned that they're trying to restore from a backup, but he can find the, the files in the, in the server on the Synology NAS. And that's because actually when I configured it, I didn't know that the backups were stored in a different folder instead of where it usually is, which is in the config folder. So when we set this up, I used the app configs folder, which was pointing to the uh, configs TDAR, and then I just had the media pointing to media. But when you go into the app configs, you wouldn't find the backups in there. So you couldn't actually work with the backups as is requested by TDAR in their user interface. So this person pointed that out to me and they said that the thing is that the backups are stored in the app server folder and we did not have that mounted anywhere in the NAS. So if the container had to be reset for some reason, then all the information would have been lost because that was not being stored in the NAS. So it would basically delete that. And that's what we're gonna fix now. We're gonna make it so that we store the contents of the app server folder in the NAS so that if we re restore or restart the image of the container or the container for some reason, let's say for example, we're upgrading it or something like that, we don't lose the configurations. As we can see here in the video, uh, that's all that I had. I had the app configs and the app media. So we're gonna make changes here because when we go into TDAR, when we're trying to do backups, like create a backup or restore from a backup, it's telling us that to restore a backup, we need to stop TDAR and remove all the folders except for the backups folder in the app server TDAR. So we couldn't see this before, so there was no way for us to work with this folder. And then it says that we, we get the backup that we want to restore and then we unzip it in there. So let's get to that, let's get that working. So here we have our TDAR instance. So we would go into the details and we would see that we only had the configs, TDAR, map to the app configs, and we had the media. So we have to make changes to that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to stop this container. All right, it is stopped now. So let's go quickly into the file station here and look at the configs. So if we go into TDAR, we only had those two files, which is the configuration uh, JSON files for uh, the node and for the server. So we need to make changes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a new folder in here that is going to be named server and I'm going to create another new folder that is going to be named configs. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move these two files here into the config folder so now we have them here and I'm going to get rid of it from here so I delete those two. And then we're gonna have that server folder that is gonna have all the stuff that is supposed to be in the app server directory. So now that we have that, so now we go into TDAR and then we go into details, and then settings, and then I'm gonna make the changes here. So here, the folder that I was pointing to app configs is actually gonna be changing. So I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna be pointing to Docker configs tdar and then configs instead of tdar alone and then it's read and write let's get rid of the old one and then we're going to uh, mount another one that is going to be the docker configs tdar but then the server one and that's going to be pointing to app server so now all of the backups and all of the stuff related to the server is going to be saved safely into the nas so those are the changes that we need to do. So we save that and I need to get rid of something that causes problems and there we go. Now it's uh, updated. So now when we restart TDAR, then we should see that things change in the NAS. So let's look at the logs meanwhile. And in here we go and we refresh and we see that the server folder right now doesn't have anything and the 
configs just has those two files, right? So let's just continue monitoring this. And here we go. Now we see that stuff is being populated into the server folder. So we have the process group ID, PUID, as files in there. And this is still processing, so we need to give it time to complete setting itself up. Okay, and let's validate here to see if TDAR is up and TDAR is up. If we were to create a backup, we can go to the NAS and we would see that in this server folder, we should be getting more stuff. So there you go, you see the TDAR folder and that's what it said in here in TDAR. So inside there, we have a backups folder and here's where, where our backups are going to be. And then according to the TDAR user interface, if we want to restore a backup, then we delete everything except for backups in here. So we would get rid of everything here except for that one. And then we would use the zip file from one of those backups to extract it out here. And then we will get the, the folders that we deleted, but for that backup that we wanted. So that's how we fix that problem so that we are able to store the backups and the configurations for the server somewhere that is uh, constant. So if you stop that container and restart it or make some change to the image, you don't lose all your settings. You have everything there. You can always back up to a previous version also if you do something that you don't want. So that was it. I hope um, that answers the question. And for any, any other people that were facing this issue, this helps them to address it. So this video request is now answered. And uh, I'm going to put this video next to the TDAR video in the playlist so that it's there for new people that are trying to set up uh, TDAR. Well, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Thank you for that uh, comment and uh, bao chica wow wow. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to help a lot of people. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Share the videos with people that you think might find them useful. And remember, I do not monetize the channel. You should not be getting uh, ads on the videos. And uh, I rely entirely on your support. So feel free to go into the link in the description below. There's going to be links for donating using PayPal or Bitcoin. So feel free to do that. And that'll help us focus on the channel and give you more quality content. That's going to be it for this one. Take good care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.